Is that correct? That's it. Yes, sir. All right. So talk about just coming back for the second stint. You were on the staff during that run with all the finals, but being able to take the opportunity last year and then just how you feel this year heading into your second season. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a special moment, especially when you're alum from the school and coming back, uh, I guess, for the second stint, like you said. Um, but, you know, coming in for the second year, I think the biggest thing is, you know, we got a better understanding of the kids and what uh, to expect from them. And the same thing, they understand the expectations as well of what we want to do, how we want to practice, how we want to tempo everything and move around. And so I think it's just more everyone's a little bit together. And in terms of the staff, is it the same as last season? You guys have kind of gelled together? I think we got a couple of changes, but I think the biggest thing is a gel together you see a more unified staff and that's what we wanted um, the common language we, you know we talk about all the time what we say throughout the staff meetings we want to see on our field and to our kids and that's what we see a lot of so we're very excited about that and what what position group has given the coaching staff a lot of excitement where you know you have the guys that are ready this this year but also kind of preparing for that future guys that have um, shown that they're going to be potentially next man up I think the biggest thing is, you know, that some of the kids behind me will look at me, but the lines of scrimmages. We're very excited about our lines of scrimmages. Um, we felt we were young and inexperienced last year. That was one thing that we talked about. Um, and then we feel our lines of scrimmage are very experienced this year coming in. Uh, but all of the top of all our positions and our all the way across the board, very excited about just because, like we talked about, the buy-in and the work ethic that we got right now. Coach, you guys recently were at a padded camp. Um, you know, you guys had you know great programs there like Grayson. What was that like? What, what did you kind of take away uh, from that camp, being able to learn more about your team at kind of a physical setting and with some really great programs. Oh, yeah, that, that's the biggest thing. You know, when we go into the off season, the first thing we look for is we want one, what we call elite OTA. Uh, we're going to try to find what we think is the best teams in the state. And obviously, we know Grayson's uh, top ranked up there and Gainesville does a great job. Kennesaw Mountain, same thing. And you obviously know about Rock Mart and what they bring to the table and what they can do. And so we want to do that and test our kids out at those abilities um, because it's a physical warfare. And we thought our kids, you know, matched them. We got physical. We went back and forth. You know, all those OTAs are always going to get heated. They always do. Um, but that's what we want to see our kids get after, and we we're very happy about that. And then, Coach, uh, looking uh, ahead a little bit to kind of, will you guys have a fall scrimmage before I obviously get ready for that first game? Yeah, we'll have a scrimmage next week against Peach County. Okay, gotcha, Coach. And then, how excited are you to kind of open the season going up against Lee County? Obviously, we know how great uh, Fabrizio is there. Um, and obviously, they got a great running back in uh, Us Usmani Kroma. Uh, that's one of the best in the state. But how excited are you for that match to kind of open the season? You know, like you talked about earlier, when you got a great program like Warner Robins and you got a great program like Lee, you want to find the elite teams. You want to find the best teams to go against all the time uh, when you schedule that. And that's what we did. We're very excited about it. Like you talked about, Dean Fabrizio does a tremendous job down there at Lee County. Always a well-coached team. And so it's something physical. We want a physical game. That's what we want to be. So going down there is a very exciting moment for us. Certainly. Well, Coach, I know you got some players behind you, so we're going to uh, uh, shed a little bit of light on them. So just tell us a little about the uh, guys you brought with you today. Yeah, we got a bunch of our leaders right here. These are seniors that lead every single day. They come here and they work hard, so we're very excited about them. Um, the first one that will come up, we'll bring up number nine, Isaiah Gibson. Up, Let him talk. What's good? What's going on, Isaiah? Man, uh, you were obviously, you know, you're one of the best um, in the state let alone the country, yes, uh, what you do. Um, just from your perspective, how have you been able to get 